surprise box of the week. Woo! But hey, this week there's two surprise, two surprise boxes box. of the week. Thanks, guys. The first one is from the Mantry. The Mantry. Mantry. And I wait, wait. Before you open this, I've got to say, check this awesome, coolest box so far. It comes in a crate. Look at a that. wooden crate with their name emblazoned on the end. I just want the crate. The crate is awesome. All right, so let's let's crack right. this crate. Let's uncrate this literal let's crate. See, this is a real crate. Oh. What we have we have the obligatory cool stuff. Mm. Is this this is a guide to everything that's in there? Let's enjoy all of the awesomeness that we have. Wait, wait. This is really well produced. Sometimes we just get a list, but this is this is a well produced piece. Be impressed by the awesome. And it shows you where all of these items are sourced from. Cool, right? And they deal with mom and pop kind of businesses. So that's even like a double cool. I like that. So let's get into it, man. Yeah. What do we got here? This is the bourbon barbecue crate. Chipotle barbecue popcorn. It's serious, uh, curious. Half pops, is that it? Curiously crunchy from And it's Chipotle barbecue flavored. Alright, come on man, let's have a little bit of that. Hang on, hang on. That's interesting. I hear the crunching. It is extremely crunchy. Halfpops.com. Halfpops.com. It's like a corn nut almost. But smaller. Well, it, Woo! Is, it is corn. Woo! Chipotle. Are right, you getting the Chipotle? Chipotle. Hey, man, I like this. This is good. You never gonna have to brush your teeth. Okay. Half pops. Half pops. Dot com is getting the full thumbs up from me. That's nice. This is really good. It's very manly, as it should be from the mantry. Right? Alright, what is this? And it's all nicely bubble wrapped and whatnot. Excellently packaged. Hot Georgia Soul. Sweet and fiery barbecue sauce. Nice. Check that out. Now, we're not going to open this and sample it because it needs to be put on something and cooked. Which is gonna happen. But let's see. From St. Simons Island, Georgia. Sweet, I lived near there once. This is a special barbecue sauce. And look, it has a recipe on how to make it. Cool. Make some pulled pork barbecue sandwiches. Hot Georgia soul. Man, I can't wait to try that on something. Looks awesome. We're gonna have to have a party. Alright, what else, Steve? <laughs> I've been waiting for this one. Uh oh. This is a special thing right here. Super famous. I'm gonna have another one of these while you're looking at that. Bacon jam. It's a bacon jam. Like Are you kidding me? Peanut butter and jelly jam? Like skilletbaconjam.com. Skilletbaconjam.com. Amazing. Seattle, Washington. <laughs> so this is Nirvana. Bacon jam! Now is this I see what you did there. Yeah, right? You got me? Alright, so... Oh, this is hilarious. This is the original bacon jam created in our Airstream trailer. In beautiful Seattle, Washington. Made from the best quality. bacon, Thanks vinegar, spices, and... So this is made in a food truck. I almost don't want to open it. What should we do? If we had something to put it on, like crackers or something. Oh, you can smell it, though. We're going to come back to you and let you know. How can it not be good? It's, the bacon it's got bacon medicine. in the name of it. I'll let you know on that. Bacon jam. All right, Mantry. There's still more. So much stuff in here. I'm already impressed. Woo -hoo! What is Bitter this? Bitter milk number one bourbon barrel aged old fashioned handcrafted cocktail mixer. So this is how. Now, if you don't know how to make an old fashioned, that is a true gentleman's drink. And this comes from 
BitterMilk.com. Charleston, South Carolina. Hey, now. Hey, hey, Charleston, South Carolina representing. Right down the road. Yeah, that's really man manly right there. Well, that, we're not making old fashions <laughs> right now either, so we're going to have to just set that over here. To as far as you know. All right, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, I've been waiting for this one. I am a major fan of pepperoni. From Vermont. Vermont smoked pepperoni, baby. Yeah! All right, we can try that. Yeah! You can open that up. Well, I have to have something to cut it with. So we'll try it later. Because <laughs> it is not slice. This is like... Finally! Here's something else we oh, can that eat. That we can try, yeah. Yes, something we can eat. And it doesn't even tell us where it's from. It's so awesome. What it says right on the package? Chef, chef, chef. Chef? Chef's cut real steak jerky, chipotle cracked pepper. There's a theme here. I'm getting kind of a, kind of a theme with that. Yes! This, when you get good jerky, you do have to smell it before you eat it. I mean, ah, it's all sticky too. <sighs> It's good when it's sticky. Mm. Mm. Mantry. All right, Mantry. You done good, boys. Yeah. Um. I. We gotta get another one of these. Amazing. Yes. The Modern Man's Pantry. Mantry. Mantry.com. Great Check amount out. of stuff. Totally worth it. The little wooden crate. You could use that around your house. This is great. This is great. Love it. Two thumbs up from me. We'll see you with a surprise segment coming up next. Watching this right now, more than likely, you just caught the first premiere episode of Fear the Walking Dead. Finally. Finally, it is here, and boy, is it, well, scary. I, I, I think I was more frightened than the original Walking Dead. Well, yeah, because this one, I mean, you're, you're kind of, The Walking Dead... I knew what it's, to expect because we had read the comics. And this one, it's kind of happening. Yeah, I mean, the original Walking Dead episode of Black and White was, was creepy. But we had read the comics. So we, even though it was creepy to see the visual, we knew what we were kind of going to see. This, is, this has never been a comic. This is right out of Kirkman's head. And this is like, okay, Rick gets shot, goes into a coma, and the world goes to hell. Let's see what it hap what it looks like in Los Angeles. <laughs> and it's terrifying. <laughs> One, big city and zombie outbreak, that's not a combo. Nowhere to run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, also, there are zombies everywhere. Zombies haven't existed yet, so nobody knows how to yeah, deal with zombies. Nobody knows what they're looking at. And they don't even know, yeah, they don't even know that they're looking at zombies. These are just sick, crazy people, right? Uh, and and you start to trust, oh, the police will take care of us, the military will take care of us, the, let's get on the subway car, What all the things that, Yeah, you know, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, yeah, no, no, let's no, we, if we've in learned a anything, tube. as soon as you get the first report, you grab your bug out bag and you bug out. Bug out. Now, that's what that means. The kind of some of the main characters is this couple, uh, is it Nick and Maddie, I think, school teachers, smart people, but their kids seem to be a little bit smarter, at least in dealing with this crisis up front. They they seem to have the ability to recognize almost immediately that this is more serious than the grown-ups think it is because of all of their their social media and video game skills. 
Yeah, well, I mean, you even, you just saw, you know, they're watching a kid get shot by the cops and then gets up and keeps walking and, you know, oh, that must be fake. And I don't know, man, that's not fake. Yeah. And I think they're more ready to believe There's something, you know, something extraordinary could happen than the, the grown-ups just are so jaded. We're jaded. That was CGI. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. not, somebody made that. That's We've seen it all before. Back in my day, we had to see it uphill. <laughs> and in the snow, storm. yeah, right? Barefoot. Uh, so, I'm excited to see where this thing goes. Uh, I'm excited to see if, if we ever get any tie-in to The Walking Dead that we know and love. I have heard rumor that you're going to see some, some cameo. Yeah? There might be some cameo happening. That would be cool. A little crossover. Um, but, by all means, get out of Los Angeles. <laughs> Don't hang around Remove Los Angeles. Remove yourself from the city. And the yes, you need to get into some rough terrain with water and a food source as quickly as possible. High ground. Yes, that, if, if we learned anything from watching this first episode, <laughs> it's great. have your bug out bag and bug out. Don't wait, bug out. Uh, man, uh, just the, the way the dead are portrayed since they're new dead, they're not rotting, they're not stinking, they're not obviously zombies. It's just a bloodied homeless person. They still... Or, I, mean, I don't want to say they're still strong and fast, but they're still strong and fast. They're still completely mobile. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You're, you're, they look like regular people that something, some trauma has happened to. Yeah, it's um, and that church scene. Well, you saw the church scene. We don't want to spoil it for those of you who haven't watched it yet. If you DVR'd it, but ooh, I hurt. You should, <laughs> you should totes watch this. Oh man, so if you have not. I've also been keeping up with The Strain, Del Toro's little vampire yes, zombie thing. Yes, that's moving right thing. along. Uh, yeah, the the, uh, the master is... Uh, he has molted. ...moved into Bolivar's body. He has it's, molted and become a new thing. So now we have the true goth rock vampire lord. <laughs> so, I don't know if that was intentional. Can we call him Lestat and just call it a day? Uh, he's a little more, like... Than Lestat was. Lestat was he was Seriously, glam metal. Most brutal thing I've ever yeah, seen. yeah. Lestat was glam metal. Bolivar is more brutal. <laughs> that guy. But the show does not fail to be gross. Every episode is just gross. And it's it's just over the top gross. It is, and it's great. Hey, what can we do to make this scene more gross? Oh, it's, it's pretty gross as it is, but I really want to take it. Let's over put the some blood on the floor so you rem remembered that these things eat people. <laughs> what other gross thing could we do? And and the main character talk about being an anti-hero. He is the anti-anti-hero now. He's I, oh, right now. I imagine the audience is probably thinking, when are they going to hurry up and kill him? He's 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 bad. <laughs> he's, <laughs> He's, he's kind of he's trying to help, but he has his demons. He's to fight. way off the rails. Yeah, he's yeah. really so, gone off the rails. Fear the Walking Dead. Go. I'm sure they'll be replaying it all week. Go watch that. Keep up with the strain if you like. And the new fall season's coming out, so we'll have a lot more stuff to talk about. Lots of stuff happening. And we'll see you next time. Surprise box of the week number two. Two in a one week. Sometimes you get one that you just can't wait. You gotta open it. So and excited about this it. This is that week. So excited. It is Brick Brick box. box. We're excited because it's all about Legos. And we gotta open it right now. Yes. Brick Box. Make it so. Oh my. It's so it's got instructions. Check it out. So this week's theme is arcade, or this month's theme, arcade. Nice. And so they send bricks. Okay, so you're thinking, really loose, loose Legos? No. Oh, they're, check it out. They're labeled. Yes, and you have instructions on yeah. how to make the Pac-Man. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Look. Each each month is a different theme with sets of instructions. So they come labeled, so you can see how to make the different things. These are 
It but it's not just Lego. Sometimes it comes you with get, accessories. Sometimes you get cool things like this. <laughs> oh, it ain't Steve's head. Minifigures. You get a little blind package minifigure in there. The blue ghost. Nice. Uh oh, Steve. I see something we're gonna like. Oh no way. Oh dude. No way. Hey guys, it's Sweet. Okay, it's a keychain with a Lego on it, but it's not just a keychain with a Lego on it. Look at that! I don't know if you can see that. Look at that! It says Nerd it's Oh, that's awesome. Look at this. Here's a little Mario. It's a Lego! And then some randoms, which are fun. This is cool. It is very cool. It's as, it's as cool as you would think a, a monthly Lego box would be. So every month they have a theme. They're going to send you some loose Legos so you can build the stuff to fit the theme. And then they're going to throw in some other random stuff like these awesome keychains and some random minifigs. And, and the price is really reasonable. They're, going, they're not going to leave you hanging. They're going to send you some instructions so you can actually figure out how to put it together. So, right. so this is good for all ages, really. Yeah, Brickbox. <clears throat> Brickboxclub.com. I mean, and what's more fun than this? This I keep eating my head. Boop! <laughs> Only Pat Man likes me. <laughs> Alright, man. I love the brick box. Yes. I'm, I'm going to be getting that from, from, for myself and my this children. That's awesome. Thank you, brick box. brick box. you'll be getting a subscription from me, that's for sure. We're going to see you next time. Hello, fellow nerds. If you are in Myrtle Beach, you need to check out XCON Comics on Main Street. It is the heart of the beach. Inside, you will find Nerd Bar, a new concept in nerdy entertainment. XCON Comics is the home of XCON, one of the fastest growing comic cons and the biggest in South Carolina. Whether it's comics, games, art, movies, or just something truly unique, XCON Comics and Nerd Bar is the home of what is cool in Myrtle Beach. Beach. Check out Facebook.com slash NerdBar1 for more information. And remember, hot, hot chicks, chicks love comics too! too. Movie, time! Movie time! Oh my god, Steve. Spooky. Movie Creepiest time. movie I've seen in a very long time. Sinister 2. I'm... I, I do not want my children to see it, that's for sure. <laughs> In fact, nobody should let their children see this movie. Thinking maybe no. You'll be I'm sleeping with one, one eye open. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it'd be fine. You'd just sleep in a different house than they do. So if you saw Sinister 1 and you thought that was creepy, Sinister 2 takes it to a Sinister level. Sinister 1 was pretty creepy, though. I mean, that was... Yeah, but this is worse because in Sinister 1, there's some supernatural entity... That Bagul, they call it, some kind of demon or whatever, and, and you're trying, you know, the the officer so and so, literally his name. <laughs> wait, wait, it's in the second movie, it's Detective So and So, isn't yes, it? Yes, he becomes private detective, but, um, yeah. you know, he's trying to overcome this demonic being. In Sinister Two, demonic being is back, but he's enlisted the help of children. Which is evidently his thing the entire time is the that's how he gets you he gets the he gets the well, children. You know, there's some creepy stuff going on with the kids in the first. Kids movie. are always kind of creepy <laughs> when you put them in a horror movie, like Children of the Corn. And, this, this is very that's the, definitely the feel I got from that Children of the Corn. Yes. Uh, not so much. This is a Bloom House movie, so they, you know they did the whole Paranormal Activity stuff, found footage films. They keep the budgets low. Which makes it, I think it makes it creepier. And they make bank because their budget is so oh, low. Sure they kill, kill it. Yeah. Kill it. <sighs> we made this whole movie for fifteen dollars, <laughs> and it's gonna be creepy. <laughs> Maybe that's what makes it more creepy, though, the fact that they went low budget and they went low pro with the whole thing and well the found footage is different in this because you see the children actually find footage that they put on a super 8 projector and play and that stuff is giving me chills to even mention it is so creepy well super 8 by itself yes even even 
like a happy like family a trip to Disney vacation. World. Looks a little creepy. Super <laughs> creepy eight video. Eight. It's looking up a creepy. It's like ah, Disney looks scary in this video. You get the Black like white, the streaks the and the little burns in it and stuff. <laughs> Oh, Look man. how happy we were. So, uh, Why am I crying? If you want to jump in your seat at the theater and leave the theater, check in behind corners. Just generally walk around feeling ooky for the next Yeah, couple. go see Sinister 2. <laughs> I would say see it in the morning. <laughs> Don't see it at night. Oh, man. I'm just saying. It, it's a very well-made film. I'm sure it's going to do super well at the box office. It creeped me out. Um, and don't let your kids see it. By all means, do not let your children see it. You're going to give them all kinds of really bad ideas. I don't think you should be letting your children see horror movies anyway, but definitely don't let them watch this one. No. Because they're going to get ideas. Bad ideas. Uh, yeah. But the special effects for low budget are awesome. The creep factor is at 100%. Uh, and if you're into horror movies with a bit of a thrill or scare, this is for you. means comics now before you get into what you have here and these look pretty awesome I need to point out that since the last time we reviewed comics I've been deputized by the Gotham City Police Department so don't be sending me any slouchy comics here or I might have to take you in set, set that bad right there by the way you, you can come buy one of these if, if, you, if you like one. They're pretty neat. But don't be impersonating a police officer get in trouble with it. You know, like me. Just leave it on your dashboard when you get pulled for a speeding ticket. When they say something, just go Batman. Because Batman. I am the knight. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? The first thing we have is from our buddies at Action Lab. Action Lab. We do like Prin Action Lab. Prince Less. Oh, they have a new one. Princeless. This is a new thing. Action Lab is getting in on the strong female character. Let's have an awesome girl who doesn't need dudes to do things for her. And she is like a pirate princess who has kind of lost her throne and is trying to find her way back to it. Well, Princeless is a title they've had for a while, so this must be another story. Mm -hmm. and, and they've all been about, you know, I don't need a prince to rescue me. Right. So, that makes sense with the artwork and everything. Yeah. And it's actually a really good story. Uh, and it's safe for children to read. So, this would be one. Way to go, actually. Moms man. and dads to get for your young girls. Moms this would be a great one to get. Mm, the next one is from Boom. Welcome back. Boom. We're covering the indie gambit here. We're doing a little indie this week. This welcome back, Hada? Well, <laughs> Welcome back is um, it's about a girl who may or may not have lived a whole bunch of lives and can't quite filter them all out. Uh, multiple personality disorders or true past life experiences. True past life experiences? You be I'm the judge. Thinking. She also has a dark past, serial killer father. Oh, well, uh, that's always a good start. Supernatural elements. Uh, so far, it seems like a pretty interesting book. All right, I'm so not... she starts off as a serial killer, the pop father. So it, this Little starts off right in a strip club, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, you can't have more daddy issues than that. No, but I'm not saying she may or may not be goth and emo. Okay, so she had a loving serial killer father. Oh, wait a minute. That might not have been too far off. Or maybe, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to have to read this one. So you guys can read it with me. We can, we can talk about it. Mm. Uh-oh, more reboots. Well, Secret Wars has finally rebooted House of M. Everybody loved House of M. I'm super excited to see the new treatment of it. This was a huge story arc. 
This was a big deal. House of M kind of changed the face of the Marvel Universe. Well, yeah, they had, Scarlet Witch had to reset the whole universe, right? Because everybody was dead or something? Well, you know, she did what she could. All right, I don't even know what they've done to change this, but when I see humpback whales flying around with cannons mounted to them, I'm all in on that. <laughs> do they have lasers attached to their heads? Evidently, they do. <laughs> I believe every creature deserves a hot meal. Oh, God, yeah. are all they, right. Are they ill-tempered? Oh, look, there's Scarlet Witch looking pretty mad right there. Ah, you know, not the person I would want to make angry. No. I don't really think you want to... All right, you got something else good for us? I see one more in your hand there. Good may be a subjective term. All right, what do we got? Howard the Human. Is this Howard the Duck, but now is a human? Well, Howard the Human lives on a world that's completely populated by animals. Except he's the... Except he's a human. He's a homo sapien on the planet. So... <sighs> I don't know where Marvel's going with that, to be perfectly honest with you. Let, let me see if you can hear this. <laughs> That's my sigh of disappointment, Marvel. You had to actually kill some what trees do? to do this. Trees, what did you do? Trees died to make this comic book. I don't know how to do you know, it, so I choose not to. Young Moff Food and Stewart, who wrote and drew this, um, you know, it was a paying job. Good for you guys. You got paid, but come on. You, you killed trees for this? Seriously? Howard the Duck is bad enough. <laughs> but now we got Howard the Human. It is well known that I'm not a Howard the Duck fan, but... Trapped in a battle world he never made. Howard the Human. Even less thrilled about Howard the Human. You know what? This may be so terrible the that you have to get it. The scary thing is, is it's part of the Secret War story arc. So you kind of have to read it if you want the whole thing. It may be so bad that you have to have it. This may be one of those, like... I guarantee you will see this in the man bags of hipsters everywhere. This is going to be... It's, this is going to be the hipster comic of the month. The art's not terrible. It's just... I, You know, it I, might be a really great comic. I'm just not sure I'm willing to read it enough to care. I don't know. Just one more time. Just... Maybe we're missing out. Maybe we should give it a shot. Really, Marvel? <laughs> Maybe we should give it a chance. Can't we all just get along? Uh, well, Howard the Human, get yours today. <laughs> That'll be a wrap. Get it quick. Yeah, it may be very rare. <laughs> like, this might be the only one they ever made and we got it as a joke. <laughs> we'll see you next time.